The Texas migrant tragedy. Two people have been charged in connection with the tragic deaths of 51 undocumented migrants. They were found dead on Monday in an 18-wheeler truck in the city of San Antonio. Two Mexican nationals were charged on Tuesday in connection with the tragic deaths of dozens of migrants found in a truck in Texas on Monday. The deadly human smuggling attempt killed over 50 people as they were trapped inside a sweltering tractor-trailer truck in San Antonio, Texas. The two defendants who were arrested following Monday's incident were charged with possessing firearms while in the United States illegally, according to court documents and U.S. authorities. The migrants were found on the outskirts of the Texas city on Monday, where temperatures swelled to a high of 103 Fahrenheit. A San Antonio Fire Department official described stacks of bodies and said there were no signs of water and no visible working air conditioning inside the truck. Meanwhile, at a press conference Tuesday, Rebecca Clay Flores, a Democratic local official in Bexar County, Texas, sharply criticised Republican Governor Greg Abbott for a tweet on Monday night that blamed Biden's border policies for the incident, even as the emergency response unfolded. While bodies were still being removed and others being taken to local hospitals, he chose to be heartless and point the finger. Shame on our governor. The deaths once again highlight the challenge of controlling migrant crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border, which have reached record highs. The issue has been difficult for U.S. President Joe Biden, a Democrat who came into office in January 2021, pledging to reserve some of the hardline immigration policies of his Republican predecessor, Donald Trump. Republicans have criticised Biden's border strategy ahead of the midterm congressional elections in November. Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador on Tuesday said he will meet with U.S. President Joe Biden in Washington on July 12th. He said migration will be a central issue in their discussions.